All right, how's everybody doing? Happy Saturday morning to you. Before I begin, I'm gonna give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Ratchet Clothing. Ratchet's a clothing company out of the UK. They have clothing for men, women, and children. I'm gonna put a link down below. Go check them out. So today I'm gonna to be speaking about an incident that took place and it had to do with a guy who was with me. His name was AJ. AJ came to me and told me that his uncle Jerry was having a problem collecting money that he lent somebody, 25000 And one of the guys was a big bodybuilder that went to AJ's gym. The uncle went to the gym as well. And this guy was telling them that his uncle is Tough Tony. Tough Tony is Tony Federici. He's a capital regime with the West Side or the Genovese family. So I told two of Patty Della Rosso's guys, Louis Jett and Danny Campo, take a ride with me to this gym. We went to the gym, we met AJ. I told AJ, go inside and get this guy, tell him to come out. The guy came out, big monster of a guy. And I told him, now explain to me what you told this kid AJ that you're not gonna pay this money. He says, well, my uncle, Tough Tony, I says, first of all, don't mention any names. So I'm shaking my head, he's mentioning names right off the bat. And he said that his uncle Tough Tony told him not to pay. So I knew that was bullshit right away because I know Tony and I know Tony's not going to talk that way. So I told him, no problem. We're going to set an appointment up. We're going to meet in the Parkside in your uncle's restaurant. And he just looked at me. I says, and we'll reach out to you through AJ. We walk away and we leave. We did set the appointment up. I went myself and... Soon as I got there, I went over and seen Tough Tony at the bar. We greeted each other, we said hello, we started talking about what was going on. So he turns around, I said, Tony, I know this kid's not your nephew. He says, no. Now the kid brought another guy with him. So Tony says, actually, the kid's my pool guy. <laughs> so I says, he's your pool guy. So he says, yeah. He says, and the big guy is his friend. They came to me crying about this. I said, well, Tony, I know that you didn't send that message, obviously. You're here with the using your name. He says, I know. So I said, listen, uh, let me go handle them. He says, do me a favor. I told them I was going to take 10000 off. They're going to pay you, but I told them I was going to take 10000 off. I said, listen, I don't want to make you look bad, but I'm not taking ten off, Tony. I'll take 5000 off. So now it became a $20,000 payment. I said to him, Tony, listen, there's no need for you to come over there and talk with them. Let me leave you out of this. I'll go talk to them myself. So these two guys were sitting in a section of the restaurant. It looked like a jungle in there. There was a lot of plants and flowers. I walked over to them. I'm sure they expected Tony to be coming with me, but he, he wasn't, obviously. So I sat down and I told the guys, I said, listen to me. First of all is, I don't want to talk to you, to the big guy. He's the guy who mentioned Tony's name, that that's his uncle and whatnot the other guy the other bigger guy too who's the pool boy I said to him I want to talk to you I want to talk to you alone so he got up and we walked outside of the restaurant I said to him I'm gonna tell you something right now you're paying me this money a your friend and you shouldn't be mentioning that guy's name inside and when am I getting my money so he says, I got 10000 on me right now. He goes to hand it to me out in the street. I said, don't hand me that money. We walked a little further away from the restaurant. There was some stores there. And we went into one of the stores. I took the envelope and I put it in my pocket. So I said to him, give me your telephone number. I got his telephone number. And somebody's going to be getting in touch with you. I went back inside. I said goodbye to Tony. And I left. So now... We collected in total 20000 How we collected it, I wouldn't meet with this guy no more, and I'll tell you why. The pool guy started messaging me on my phone, calling me the big guy in his messages now. So I didn't like his messages. Then he sent me a message and said that he has another guy that is owed a hundred and something thousand. I didn't trust him. I wouldn't meet with him no more. I put him with Danny Campo, and I made Danny collect the money from him. We collected the whole thing. We gave AJ's Uncle Jerry 
back 10,000 because he was getting zero before we stepped in and we kept 10,000. Out of that 10,000, we whacked that money up and it's the way I wanted it done. Every guy that was involved, so I had Danny, I had Louis Jett, I gave money to Butch, and we also gave money to Patty Deloroso. I split it evenly between all of us, and that's how we split the 10,000 that came to us. And that was it. So, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the story. Tony from the Parkside is a nice guy. He didn't really want to get involved in this. I knew that he never would tell this guy, uh, tell him that the money's dead, because that's the message that he gave this kid, AJ. He says, that that that's that twenty five thousand's dead. My uncle Tony, tough Tony from the park side, said I don't have to pay it. I knew that was bullshit. And AJ's uncle was very happy to at least get ten thousand dollars of his money because he wasn't getting anything. And that basically was it. Everybody was happy in that life. I felt that you should make everybody earn. And that's about it. So go enjoy the rest of your day. I hope everybody enjoys it. Stay healthy, drink your water, take your vitamins. Ciao for now.